Okie dokie artichoke, it is finally time for a Chameleon Uncharted review. I loved all of them so much. Oh, I loved it so much, you guys. We did a bit of driving along with our crashing. <laughs> oh, shooting. I don't see why anybody would question my driving skills. Oh! Oh! Where did they just place me? Oh! Whoops! We learned a new language. We're gonna call it Chameleon. Ouchie, I missed that one. <laughs> Having just completed the last one, I can with full confidence say that the fourth one was by far my favorite. But I always have to give a lot of credit to the first one. It was the first game that I felt like I was good at. I am doing well. I'm shooting people in the head. <laughs> the second one, which was of course fabulous, I had a really hard time with the controls. It was very frustrating. I couldn't swing and I couldn't jump. So the third one was finally giving me some of that plot that I was craving. So the third one was very high on my list until the fourth one. Then of course, it's jumped into second place, but still second place. As far as the creatures go, I have to say the first one, the creatures were the most terrifying. Oh my gosh! <laughs> ah! No, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> that was the most I've ever been. They horrified me. I'm gonna have nightmares about it for the rest of my life. I really hate spiders. We all saw how much I hated the spiders. Get some good. <laughs> then we come to the second one. Those were pretty creepy. Last one, there weren't really creatures, but there were mummies, and they exploded. <gasps> A lot. That is so creepy. <laughs> and that was pretty terrifying. But I've gotta say, as far as scary creatures go, we gotta go number one, number three, because, you know, spiders. Where are we going, bro? Number two, and then number four with the mummies. When it comes to the villains, the most memorable villain is clearly from number two. Ah! Woohoo! Oh, yep, there we go. No deaths till I figured it out. Oh my gosh, y'all have no idea. He looks the most threatening. The others honestly were a little bit forgettable for me. It's only been a few months and I know I have a short memory, but I uh, I literally forgot the first villain. I didn't remember his face. I don't know his name. The third one was much better because they had some background with Soli, they were kind of personal. Clearly the fourth one is the most personal. <laughs> Booyah! You care about that parade of losers so much. I'm going to make sure they join you. They got me shook, man. So there's no point anymore! Why even survive? 
They died. Well, that's a hell of a thing. <gasps> what? Ah! No! He said no! <gasps> no. Please. <laughs> they did the other way around. Oh, he's gonna die, he's gonna die, he's gonna die, he's gonna die, he's, gonna die. he's dead. He dead. No? He's dead, he's dead. <gasps> no! And then they weren't dead. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh... I'm my little brother. <gasps> Absolutely not. No. All right. Man, I had a hell of a time. And oh my gosh, Sully! I freaking thought he was a hoe bag. They had me fooled with Sully. In every other one, I am a genius, and here's proof. Who called it? What the hell are you talking about, man? Dr. Alcus died in a shootout in Argentina like six months ago. Oh, I called it! I called it! I called it! I called it, I called it you guys! I knew it! 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 Y'all! Wow! What did he tell you? I said it out loud! Same. I called it! I called it! Mrs. Fortune Teller strikes again. I am genius. The third one, although almost my favorite, had the fourth one not come along, made me so motion sick. Uh, la, 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 la. This is. I was gonna throw up almost every time I played that game. Ugh. The third one had such a beautiful scenery. I like this. Why does nobody like this one? Everybody hates on the third one. I like it. He freaking lies to Elena. And that was the worst part of the entire thing. Worse than the spiders, man. Come on, Nate. <gasps> yeah. I know, I know. But, uh, it's like I'm gonna take that Malaysian job after. No! Don't lie to her! That is the biggest mistake he could possibly make. Oh! By far, the easiest villain for me to defeat was number four, Rafe, and my sword fighting abilities was incredible. On, Nate. Ah! Mm. God damn it! So sweet. Ah! Not, not, not too well. Not too well. Sword fighting is hard. <gasps> I don't think so. <laughs> and last but not least, the movie Uncharted that just came out. I have to preface this. I went into this movie with very low expectations of it comparing well to the video game. And we're gonna begin with the most obvious, which is the cast. I am not alone when I say the cast is what initially made me nervous about the movie. For obvious reasons. Tom Holland, big fan, love him. But this is just not right. My two favorite options that I have read as other suggestions, Scott Eastwood or Liam Hemsworth. The highlight of the movie for me was Chloe. I loved her, I loved everything about her. She's my number one. I loved everything about it. She, five stars, 10 out of 10. Mark Wahlberg being Sully didn't necessarily bother me, mostly because I was already preoccupied with being bothered with Nate. And again, I went in with very low expectations. I was pretty impressed with the villain in this movie. They, they had a stellar choice of actor for the villain in this Uncharted. He seems like a villain that would be in Uncharted, if that makes any sense. There's a scene near the end where there are freaking helicopters carrying boats. It's totally Fast and Furious style where none of it is plausible, none of it makes any sense, but it's amazing. I'm not one that loves action movies for the action. I am very much a story person. I like the story. The action is just kind of there usually, but this was an action scene that I was totally on board with. It was a boat going here, boat flying there, and they crash, and, they, and then the boats are flying, and it's like pirates in the air, and it's amazing. That's 
all I have to say about that. Now, I understand some of the plot decisions that they had to make because it's really hard to fit four video games into a movie or even, even make the first Uncharted into a story because the first and really the second Uncharted video game really don't have enough plot to make a movie off of. You know, otherwise they're gonna be adding. Whereas if they try to do all of them in one, they're gonna have to take out a lot. So I understand that they had to make a lot of tough plot decisions. And so I think that they did a pretty good job with what they had of trying to take all of that story and make it into a movie. Because I know they have to make a lot of weird, kind of hard decisions in doing that, especially with what just might be boring in a movie compared to a video game. So I think they did a really good job with that. Another issue I had was how much the previews showed. And I don't know if this is a critique for the previews or the movie because I don't know if the movie didn't have enough substance, that they didn't have enough other stuff for the preview than that, or if it's a bad preview because they used too much from the movie when they didn't need. I honestly felt like if you watch the preview, you got about 90% of the movie. Something I hated that was this trio that you have here, Chloe, Sully, and Nate, are in this weird relationship where they're always backstabbing each other and they don't trust each other. That they took that relationship of Sully and Nate and totally took away from it by making that relationship so untrustworthy. That totally takes away from the whole backstory of what their relationship was. Like, that's just not the narrative it's supposed to set. With that said, not comparing the video game to the movie, I think my rating would be 7.5 out of 10. I enjoyed it, had some laughs, had some cool action scenes that I was a fan of. So if you're able to get to that level of disconnecting the two, I would suggest going to see it. Great movie, great job all those actors. However, on the other hand, if I am completely basing it off of the games and the experiences I had with that, I'm gonna give it more like a four out of 10. Moral of the story is Chloe is the best part of the Uncharted movie. So if you can go see the movie, just watch a preview or two and you basically got it all right there. And this concludes my very first game series review. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments what you think, what you thought of the movie if you've seen it, and which Uncharted was your favorite. But the Jet Skis Man. <laughs> Never again. If you'd like to see some gameplay, follow me at twitch.tv slash chameleon. Stay awesome, possum. Awesome.